Well, if you're a conscientious guy like me, whenever you take apart an old air conditioner or your car air conditioning system, you want to recover the Freon and store it or reuse it or sell it back or take it back to a place that can handle it. Most people can't afford or don't want to buy a recovery system that sucks the Freon out of your unit. Well, I can afford one, but I'm a cheap bastard, so every one I've ever owned I've made for free. I just happen to like to use 6000 BTU air conditioner compressors. Doesn't matter if they're over, oval or round, but I prefer the oval ones. I just welded a piece of copper pipe, crossed it to make a handle, so when I carry it, it's simple. Carry it with one hand. Every compressor needs its starting capacitor, so this one has a 15 microfarad, microfarad starting capacitor. I've just redneck duct taped it to the side to hold it on, wired it into the compressor, and added a cord. Of course, all compressors have an input and output. On one of these kind of compressors, the lowest tube on the body is always the input, the suction tube, it's always larger, and the little bit higher tube is always skinnier, and that's the high pressure out tube. So, when you're doing your recovery, your high pressure out tube goes to your recovery bottle. Also, because I'm cheap, I'm breaking the law, and I didn't buy a certified recovery bottle. I took a barbecue bottle for propane, drilled a hole in it, put compressed air in there, and blew all the gas out and welded a Schrader valve on, which is your Freon nipple. So I can use it now to store, you know, all the Freon from all those millions of air conditioners I have. So as you can see, there's lots of shit in there. So if I was going to recover something from a unit, I screw this onto here, my high pressure output. And I leave it loose so it's not depressing the little valve inside there that's like your tire valve. If it's tight on there, the back pressure of the Freon that goes inside this pipe will cause this compressor not to want to start. My, I have my gauge set, set to the low pressure pipe, which goes to the middle of the manifold. And the other pipe, which goes to the gauge, goes to where I'm going to suck the Freon out of the unit. Well, cars have a nipple but window air conditioners don't, and central airs do. Well, for window air conditioners, they've just got a lot of tubes and no way to suck the gas out, so you gotta buy one of these things. They come under different names. This brand's called Bullet Piercing Valve. It's got two halves. Take it apart with the handy dandy tool that they supply you. You pinch it onto the pipe. Then the last one you tighten in is the center one. It pierces a little hole into the pipe and then you can suck the gas out. Once you've got one of these installed, you can never remove it or all your gas just rushes out. And always put the cap on because they always leak. They give you several different little fittings so it can fit three sizes of pipe. You know, quarter inch, three eighths, and five sixteenths. The fitting just goes in that pocket. Well, when you suck the gas out of one of these window units, well, you can reuse it in another window unit or you can use it in your central air on your home, you know, the great big unit that's beside your house. It's exactly the same kind of Freon. And Freon never goes bad unless you get it mixed with air or have a nasty compressor burnout and then the Freon smells like chlorine. Whenever you suck the gas out and refill your, your container, you never put the container in the sun because it'll get too hot and the blow-off valve will blow out and you'll lose all your Freon. Always shade it and always keep feeling it to make sure it's not getting too warm. If it does, then you have to shut the system off and let it cool down. Once you've used this container a lot and been filling it up a lot, you should uh, always shake it and keep getting a feeling of how much gas is in there because the gas becomes a liquid. When the gas level gets to be about here, I mean the liquid level, then you should stop filling it. That's for safety so you don't blow it all your gas out this uh, back pressure valve. I mean blow off valve. You can get about 35-40 pounds of Freon in a container like that. And that'll do a lot of systems, so if you get the chance, never waste it.